360 million years ago. It is what is known as the Late Devonian Period. A shallow sea covers much of what will become Ohio. There is no North America. The continents will soon be joined into a supercontinent we now call Pangaea. Ohio sits near the equator. The weather is tropical, steamy. Dinosaurs have not yet roamed the earth. Amphibians, the first vertebrates capable of coming onto the land, are just emerging from the seas. As the continents collide, mountains are pushed up where the Appalachians will be one day. Rivers flow from those mountains, carrying with them rock debris and silt, much as rivers do today. Where they enter the sea, they deposit their sediment into fan-shaped formations. The mud settles and is covered by more mud and compacted, and over millions of years solidifies into rock, shale. It is that 360 million year old shale that we mine today and reconstitute into clay that will form the bricks housing Ohio State Marion's new science and engineering building. What is ancient becomes new again. Welcome to the Glengarry Brick Company in Iberia, Ohio, on the eastern edge of Marion County, 15 miles from the Ohio State Marion campus. For eons, humans have been using the earth to build dwellings and shelters. For most of that time, it's been a labor-intensive process, making bricks one by one by hand. Many bricks, particularly those with unique shapes or characteristics, are still made by hand. But in Glen Gary's Iberia plant, brick making is a high-tech, state-of-the-art enterprise. Shale from the deposit behind the plant is scooped into a crusher that reduces it to a fine powder. That powder is then augered into holding vessels, mixed with additives like iron oxide to give the bricks their red color. The dry materials are sent to a mixing tank where they are mixed with a precise amount of water to form a pasty clay. The clay is pushed through an extruder that creates a continuous rectangle. The extrusion is cut into pieces, then cut again by fine wires into individual bricks. The newly formed bricks are stacked on a drying rack and sent into a drying oven where much of the water in the clay is removed. Only when they have reached the right degree of dryness are the bricks sent into Glengarry's continuous kiln that heats them to temperatures of up to 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. At that temperature, the minerals in the clay undergo a chemical transformation, vitrification, fusing them together and resulting in the hardened material that is a finished brick. During the firing process, raw gas is inserted into the kiln, which gives those bricks exposed near the top of the stack a darker color than those farther down. To maintain a uniform assortment of colors, the bricks are hand sorted into shipping units so that as they are applied to a building, there will be an even mix of colors and textures. Finished bricks are sent to a storage yard and soon will be trucked to the building site. Skilled masons apply cement and make sure each brick is level and square. Weep holes are inserted into the finished brick facing to allow condensation to escape from behind the brick wall. When complete, the ancient shale formed in a time before dinosaurs or humans has become the new face of Ohio State Marion's Science and Engineering Building.